Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Because when you edit it, when you edit, it takes from the realism. Do I have to watch what I say? No cussing and things? No, no, but I'm not going back and changing the cuss words and everything. Plus, this is on premium anyway. I'd have to pay to see this podcast episode. I thought they do pay. No. What? You said premium people, like... You're whispering. Say again. You said premium people pay because they don't pay for their ads, so they, like, you got you get your own... Yeah. No, the <laughs> podcast is for the people that pay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's No, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, okay. When I asked you how YouTube monetization works, mm -hmm. okay, you explained that you have to meet a minimum amount. Mm-hmm for the month and then they'll send that and it's usually like a month behind mm -hmm. okay and you explain that you get money from ads you get money from people that have the premium where they don't get ads yeah and then you had one that was for memberships right so yeah. when you said premium just now did you mean the membership people or did you mean people that have youtube pre prime premium thing what all right, so check it out. Look, the people that are paying will get to see this. The people that don't pay, they don't get to see this. Okay. It's called incentivizing. Okay, so I'm just asking, do I need to follow the terms of service? Oh, yeah, probably. I mean, don't say crazy shit. I mean, you... You just said it. That's, That's why I'm asking. Oh. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Folks, welcome to Riot's Nonsense. You're I really bad at this. Yeah, yeah, I know. For, I forget which episode this is, and if we're looking for any sort of form of, uh, I don't know, it's like 38 or something. It, hold on. Now, you got to know is it, is it 38? Well, that one says you have 38. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull... Well, dude, stop. I, I just want to pull it up. Why is it bringing up descriptions? and Nobody asked for all that. So I click the name and they're like, welcome anyway. I literally just watched you do the same thing three times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're, you didn't stop me, so that's really on you, but okay. Is it uh, on your playlist? Oh, right here, right here. Okay. 33. We just did thirty episode 33. You yes. For a fact? Yeah, because that was my Fallout show and birthday and... How do you know it's 33? It doesn't it be, say anywhere on there. It just said 33, literally. Where? Actually, let's click this one. This says 34, so that's even better. Okay. Anyway, so, welcome to Riot's Nonsense, episode 35. Sure. Don't doubt my power. <laughs> um, we, we're trying to get all this straightened down and figure out what... Look, I've been monetized, and so we've been figuring out how the hell all this works, slowly but surely. It's been making sense, sort of, and I want to pr I want to say thank you to all the people that came out and subscribed thus far and got me all situated, because you guys are amazing, but man, oh man, this has been a ball of... I was about to cuss again. Mm -hmm. See, I can't cuss anymore. They're taking my cuss words. Mm -hmm. What's next? Am I right? No, probably just cuss words, but still. One of the biggest things I noticed... And, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, before you dive into anything, you did this, now I gotta know. When you talk into this, it makes a whistling echo sound. I want to know if you can do 1920 mode voice in front of the mic with that, like talking into the... Huh? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. hello friends, welcome to 1920s mode, like that? <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. All right. All right. The question has been answered. I can move on now. To answer whatever the hell's in the back of your head about 1920s, it was a thing I did for when I streamed on Twitch. Uh, may it rest in peace. It's not really dead, but... Um, and what would happen is if after people donated a certain amount, I'd flip over, the aesthetic would change to sepia, and I'd start talking like I was a 1920s broadcaster. He had a decanter and everything. I had I had a, a, a glass of brandy and, and a vest and some bow tie action. I mean, you can't argue with that. I, I liked it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's the answer to that. Um, what the hell was I saying? I don't know. That was more important. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I was figured, trying to figure out a topic and things like that, something, something anybody would be interested in here. And then I realized, or actually uh, Queen here realized that... Uh, that uh, maybe it should actually be nonsense in here, just thoughts and things like that. So one of my thoughts is something I noticed uh, from, I want to say, a week ago, two weeks ago, while I was in the Silent Hill group chat, I ended up posting a number of my theories and things like that, and the fan base absolutely turned rabid. I don't know what happened, but everyone turned rabid and decided to crap, and I said crap, 
that's weird coming out of my mouth. <laughs> crap. That's crap. No, I don't like it. Shit. Anyway, so, um, so a number of the fans just started going nuts. They started like biting each other's heads off, forgetting the fact that we were getting a Silent Hill on the way, a, a few new Silent Hills on the way, some less terrible than others, but the fans absolutely cannibalized each other, and then they turned against me, and I was cracking up because I was like, man. This is, they're, they're gatekeeping their favorite game from everyone else. It's like everybody has their own version of Silent Hill in their head. Mm -hmm. And then that's when a thought occurred to me about every fan base and how bad gatekeeping can get. Uh, and Now, just in comparison, when we were kids, mm -hmm. when we were into Silent Hill, and no. we, were, we were originally coming up with theories and stuff, yeah. it wasn't that bad. Like, we had a no. few people that were like, you don't know what you're talking about, you know what I mean? But like... In a group of, like, 20, maybe one, yeah. two at the most. You know what I mean? Yeah, In other yeah. words, everyone was excited to talk about theories. Everyone's excited to talk about anything because we didn't have anything. You know, we're waiting for the next game. There's yeah. nothing coming out. Hey, while we're here, what could we fill our time with to get this fix of Silent Hill or whatever? And we would just make up stuff, talk about theories, talk about, like, whatever. Any little detail or lore that came out and be like hey mm -hmm. guys i saw this in this magazine and everybody talked about it everybody mm -hmm. and you back then it was you know you had aim or y yahoo messenger and uh, guy online that's where guy we online message boards things like that mm -hmm. like that's all you could do and so you and the rest of the fans stuck together and kind of made close-knit groups and things like now that it community. is community like, yeah now it's a damn no man's land cesspool because now it's gotten to a point and i'll tell you what happened hmm Back in the day, there was no gatekeeping because we were lucky to have anybody explaining that they're fans of something nerdy. Like I guess if you, so. it, like if you liked like Dungeons and Dragons. Number one, Dungeons and Dragons was the pinnacle of all nerdiness. Now it's now it's trendy, so it's not the same. But back in the day, if you liked Dungeons and Dragons, you may as well confine yourself to your mother's basement. That mm -hmm. was the way everyone looked at it. Comic books were the same way. Anime was real close. It was a fifty-fifty thing, and then Dragon Ball Z pulled us out of that. Anime also had a lot of you know lovely lady lumps <laughs> in it and uh i think that's what saved it really <laughs> yeah you know, that, i mean it, japan always had that swinging around but mm -hmm. i mean like th there was no gatekeeping because you were lucky to have some guy go yeah i like that thing that you like rather than going oh you like that you're lame and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden all the kids ostracize you and then you know you live your life in high school being mm -hmm. the only guy that likes watching sailor moon you don't know anything about that? Now, <laughs> now, now, we're at a point now where everybody watches everything and touches everything. But Comic you, books you've and... Also, you're also missing a point here, too. Oh. You have a girl nerd, guy nerd, how our group, fan base groups were different. Like, girls supported everything. Like, girls didn't make fun of you for not liking stuff as much to another girl. Yeah, they made fun and, of boys for that. No, they made fun... Girls made fun of the way you looked or something, but not for what you liked. Girl, girls targeted each other's appearances, but girls, mm -hmm. when it came to boys, girls absolutely made sure if you were nerdy, they were going to tell you about yeah, yourself. Yeah, no, that's, that's a fact yeah. for sure. But, yeah. like, what I'm saying is, like... I wouldn't, didn't suffer that. Like, I, ah, if I was talking I about a fandom with other girls, we were like, yeah, we're all into that. You know, yeah. or, okay, you know, I like this, though, because it's got this hot guy in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I feel like the girl experience as a nerd versus the guy experience of a nerd is different yeah. from back then and now. So you're, you're missing that factor. And, two, I'm a white girl. You're a black dude. You know, like, yeah. I think the, the racial side of stuff plays into the different type of like i feel like you guys had it harder <laughs> you know what i mean it, like, you guys actually were picked on more for that than i would have been it was actually it was a cultural thing more than more than anything so mm -hmm. so like black dude watches anime or does nerdy shit he was more he get he gets more attention from his own mm -hmm. uh culture than than you know the white community or whatever else mm -hmm. and then once you got to high school it was kind of no man's land where it didn't matter who you were you just you you either like put up or shut up you get into high school mm -hmm. you better have something to bring to the table or else the kids were going to absolutely point all your shortcomings out and wonder but, but <laughs> i went to a special high school mm -hmm. where we were all nerds so that wasn't a problem in my high school okay you didn't go to a normal high school at all no, like I didn't. You, you just you my were... high school was the first like school of choice kind of thing so like we were prepping for college so you had to apply to get into our high school and it was a random lotto draw if you got into it well the only people that applied to that school were the weirdos the freaks the outcasts 
because it was supposed to be an all STEM like based school kind of thing, and the regular kids didn't want to do that. They wanted to have their bands and their orchestra and their whatever. So my school didn't have that. My school had like, like I studied architecture for three years in my school, um, so I knew AutoCAD, ECAD, you know whatever. There's kids that went there for IT stuff or whatever. So like, all of us we were all emo kids, and we were like half of them were like druggies <laughs> the other How half the hell? were like gay like we were the most accepting group of high school kids that ever existed <laughs> i don't even know how you could be emo number one i shouldn't know something was weird the moment you, you walked in and said we had a choice there was no choice you walked into our high school and they were like you have a choice go to jail or go back to class well all the high schools now here have done that all the mm. sc- high schools now have a specialty okay. you like focus in and stuff but they didn't used to no. they were the generic math science whatever blah 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 Our high school was the first one to do that. Mm. And we were like, oh, this is working pretty well. Let's apply it to all the schools, (laughs) you know, or whatever. Fair enough. But so my school was actually really accepting of nerdy kids. And we didn't really have that, like, ostracized feeling that you see now. Well, and and also I graduated in 04, so. You You also were (laughs) homeschooled. Yeah, the last year was was all home studies. Uh, uh, There was no way I was passing without it. But before you were homeschooled, how was it for you? I was funny. I didn't have to worry about being nerdy or anything like that. No one knew your secrets? I could play Yu-Gi-Oh! in in high school and still crack jokes, and people thought it was funny. And so I was like, sweet. You were saved by the the humor. Yeah, you got to have that humor in you, because if you don't, like, you got to bring something else to the table, you better have, like, an 18-pack or some Mm -hmm. shit. It it, it just didn't happen in my my direction for that, so I was like, just make people laugh. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did, and so that kind of saved my skin, but for the most part... The guys that were really into the nerdy stuff, the comic books or mm-hmm. the anime and everything like that, they just kept to themselves. They hid, they hid out in yeah. lunch, and I watched them, you know, just go off in corners. Now I'd go and poke at them because I watched that stuff too. But I was a, a day walker because I could walk amongst popular kids as well. So you know, <laughs> I got the best of both worlds. Um, but now, fandom is everywhere. Well, For whatever you love, it is in your face. Yeah, no matter what you love, it it's all become a a competition. Mm-hmm. Um, and you don't even notice you're doing it sometimes, and whether it's a Marvel movie, whether it's a DC movie, anime. you know, a, anime, a card game comes out, whatever the case may be, you don't realize that you're pushing people away from this hobby or this subject or this title or anything like mm-hmm. that because you're more interested in showing that you know the most about it. And so many people are doing that, and, and that's why I brought up the uh, Silent Hill uh, groups. Mm-hmm. I just pop in there, to be fairly honest, show my, show my YouTube videos and put them on blast and everything, and I just watch this with Without even they just look at the thumbnail and they're like no here's what you need to understand about silent mm-hmm. hill and i'm cracking up because i'm like what do you like number one i was there when silent hill was conceived mm-hmm. so when silent hill said releasing tomorrow i was already there i've mm-hmm. seen it i'm that old so you don't have to explain that to me on the same token why can't you let me enjoy the way i'm letting you enjoy but people are too busy trying to claw at each other and go you're not a real silent hill fan if you blah if you blah if you blah if you blah I, I just can't stand the, like, if you don't know every single name or every single thing in this thing, yeah. then you're not a fan. That drives yeah. me insane. Because I have insane memory problems mm-hmm. half the time. Like, I have PTSD stuff. I have just diabetes, so it gives me terrible, like, brain fog all the time. So, like, if someone comes up, let's say they're, like, Fable, right? Yeah. And they're, like... Like, I can't even remember the name of the city or I can't remember the name of the blind lady, you know, or whatever yeah, on there. Yeah. Like, if I can't remember that, then I've never played it. I'm not really a fan, and I'm whatever. No, like, I just have bad memory. <laughs> it's, it's more important for fans to mm-hmm. show other fans that they know more. Like, that mm-hmm. means anything. But it makes me not want to talk about the thing that I like. Like, if I like Fable, I don't want to talk or tell anyone I like Fable because I feel like I'm going to be quizzed on it. And if I fail that, then I'm a failure and I'm a liar and they don't want to be friends with me. You know See, what I mean? It's different with me because I make YouTube channels with video essays on the subject. However, these are still, you know, thoughts and opinions and, and theories and stuff like that. People mm-hmm. will come in there and be like, no, no, bro. No, no, man. No, man. And then they want to have a hundred things in it. And see, rather than, you know, clam up or not want to talk to them about it, on my end, I just want to fuck with them after that. Like, I just... Yeah, but you don't mind confrontation, too. I don't that's like true. confrontation. That's I really, true. I really don't mind confrontation. If you guys want to, you know, say your words in the comments, please do. But, yeah, I, I don't like confrontation for that reason. Um, I mean, I like confrontation for that reason. Like, the idea that you can just absolutely speak your mind right then and there and get it off your chest, put it on the table, I'm all for it. The only thing that I feel like gets a pass is stuff that's really big. Like, for example, 
like when monkey watches one piece yeah if he said i like one piece but i just started it or i'm only a, a thousand episodes in then they're like I oh it's 9, okay 000. you still got a long way to go like that's the only thing that gets excused is if it's you're just saying i'm just starting something yeah 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 no and and mm-hmm. I, I i've seen way too much of it that it's it's starting to irritate the ever loving hell out of me because I'm like, dude, who is this for? Who are you? Who are you? Why are you protecting or preventing other people from enjoying this? Like, no matter what it is, uh, whether it's Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, you know, Super a music Mario Brothers, band. Not even music a game. band. <laughs> why do you have to prove you're the greatest? You not once has any of your friends when you flexed on them said, "Oh, dang, he's the greatest fan." Obviously, in the argument for it, I hear people go, "Well, I was bullied for it, or I was ostracized for it, so this was my thing, and you don't even care about it like I do, and you're coming in here," which sounds like an obsessive stalker for this for the start. And that's obsessive, and it is gatekeeping. But you're exactly what you you hated. You hated yeah. people doing that to you mm-hmm. and being like, "You suck," or "You're a nerd," or "You're whatever," and you're doing it to someone else trying to get in, like their foot wet, get in there and learn some stuff or be a part of it. See, it's all good and well when you want to make it a close and small group of whatever it is you like and you want to scare all the other people out. But then once the company, you know, the corporation that made it notices no money's being made from it, they're going to stop producing any of your content. Mm. So you can like the oldies if you want because that's all you're going to get. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. I just miss the, like, community feel that it had. Yeah. Of, like, our age of, like hey, I like this thing, you know, insert whatever. There was once a And there was, like, a, like, I like that, too. And it was just a whole, like, let's hype each other up on it and get whatever. And now it just feels like it's, like, such a, like, I have the coolest stuff or I like the, you know, that whatever that term, I can't think of that term right now, that, that like, spoiled bratty attitude. I think that's the term. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I I think you covered it. Uh, Like that, but I started... I noticed it first with Marvel, really. Like, when Marvel started making movies, yeah. and they were like, you're not a real fan because you didn't read the comics from the 60s and mm. and stuff. Ain't nobody like, got time for that? Every, look, you can be whatever the... I don't have the money for that. <laughs> and, and most importantly, and I think that's all of us, but you mm. can be whatever kind of fan you want. I love Silent Hill, but I have not beaten Origins. I am a diehard Silent Hill fan, and still, I have not beaten Origins. I never touched a pachinko machine either, or shelled out twenty-seven dollars into the arcade cabinet. But I still, or the am, Vita, you know, you or the yeah, the uh, uh, Book of Memories or whatever the hell that was for the Vita. I did not play the Game Boy Advance play novel that only came out in Japan. Does that make me less of a fan? Nope. You know why it doesn't? Because fuck you. That's why. No. Um, <laughs> it, the reason why it doesn't is because I love that game. I love the series. I follow it as much as I can, and I enjoy it very much, and I'll keep playing it. I'll even talk about it on YouTube. Not so much of a fan I am. Marvel. I love Spider-Man. No, I have not seen and read every single Spider-Man issue there is, but I love Spider-Man. That is my absolute favorite superhero. No, I do not own issue number one. I love Rogue from X-Men. I've seen animated series Rogues, Mm -hmm. and I've seen the Evolution Rogue, and I've seen the movie Rogue. Have I read the Rogue comics? No. Am I going to? No, I'm poor. Like I'm not and, doing it. And even if given a chance, maybe I'm not, or maybe you're not. Maybe just even if someone said, "Here you go, here's a rogue comic," you're like, "Eh, who cares?" Yeah, I think who? I have seen a rogue comic. Like, actually, oh, there but, you go. Like through the the stack book type yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. you know, whatever they're called. But like, hey, you're you're too busy trying to fight, and and I've seen a lot of people, especially swinging at the. Uh, reviewers that are younger that uh for Silent Hill games and things like that where they're like they're reviewing these Silent Hill games and they're chasing trends but they've never actually played the Silent Hill and you don't know that until they admit it and once they admit it and they're reviewing a Silent Hill game maybe that's a little weird but like for those that have not expressly stated they have not played the game before quit just guessing they haven't played just because you want to look like the superiors you know, Silent Hill fan. I almost said Superior Spider-Man. I was going to say that. I, I did. I was like, Superior sp- <laughs> Anyway. There was this one time uh-huh. when you were at work and I wanted to get you a present. I think it was like a birthday or something coming up. Yeah. And so I went to a comic book store alone. Mistake one. But I went there alone and I walked into the guy and I said, hey, I need some uh, comic books about Scarlet Spider. Not the new one, the Ben Riley one. Mm-hmm. And he had no idea what I was talking about <laughs> for like a good minute. He was Bruh. like, what? And I was like, I don't know the name of it. Like yeah. the the clone saga. I didn't know that at the time yeah. or whatever. So I was like, I don't know the name, but it's 
this one and i like pulled up a picture i think on my shitty little phone because mm-hmm. it was a potato phone back then old ass phone and they were like <laughs> okay i guess why we would like that or want that okay and i'm like just give me the goddamn thing and i finally got it you know whatever i got the big mm-hmm. stack at the time you know the big book stacks or whatever yeah but like the the like attitude of like one why would you ever you know what i mean kind of like yeah, it's it's no secret. No, no. One, no one like no one liked the Clone Saga, except me. Apparently, I I love the Clone Saga, the Jackal. But what all if of I it. wanted to read it because you liked it? Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which I didn't. That <laughs> that person could have easily prevented that kind of reading, or, or a customer. If we want to think in a business sense, it just stopped a customer from buying something just because it came from a Clone Saga, and you're like, ew, this is inferior. Why would a fan want to read that? Shut up. Like having a personal opinion, I could be like. Hey, what do you think about this one? Is this one better or this the new Scarlet Spider? Yeah. Is that one better? Like that then give me your personal opinion all day. But if I'm coming in to like look for this mm-hmm. thing, don't act like I'm a fucking idiot for this, you know? Please, thanks. Just I I especially on internet, internet, I spent way too long looking at people just absolutely just take craps on each other over what they like, what they don't like, why they shouldn't like something. Or why they shouldn't pretend that this is enjoyable or not enjoyable. I'm, I'm, no, that's not saying that it's not valid criticism for games sure. and things like that, for sure. Just how you talk to other fans is what gets me. No. Like, right now, um, Dragon Age just released their trailer. Yeah. Veil Guard, right? And I'm just seeing people being 50-50, but absolutely polar on is it good, is it not, based off the trailers. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they, they're they going to bring this up. They're always going to say, uh, fans always have something negative to say about yeah. whatever. No blah, fans blah. are happy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're they're all like whatever, which is not true. Because you can see that on there. Half the fans like it, half the fans don't. The thing with Dragon Age, and I think is what the per- particular problem is with it, is every game has been so different from each other. <laughs> they really have. Like one to two, two to three, like... They have been extremely different. The only one that's kind of been the same is like Inquisition of This looks kind of close. But like their combat system, yeah, they changed their graphics. Everything. It's always extreme. So everyone's like, I want the first one. Well, I want the second one. Mm-hmm. Well, I want like, you can't really do that if every single game is different. Bro, they're all different. Yeah. I like 2's combat system, but man, 2 was trash. Anyway. But here's the thing with that. I love Dragon Age. Dragon mm-hmm. Age is the, what Silent Hill is to you. Dragon Age is to me. Mm-hmm. Fable as well. Mm-hmm. Okay? I remember the story for the most part. Like, the gist of the story or whatever. Yeah. I don't remember the names of half the characters on there. I don't remember all the side questions. I spent hours doing things I probably wasn't supposed to. So, I'm not going to remember. And I played that game... Let's see. I played the first Dragon Age about mm, three, four years ago now. Yeah. But originally, I played it, like, way back when it first came out. You know what I mean? So, like... I'm, that's a long time. I'm not going to remember it if I'm not daily talking about Dragon Age every yeah. day. And so when people are come up and they're like, oh, my favorite character was so-and-so, I was like, who's that? I don't even know who you're talking about. And it's not because I'm not a fan of the game. It's just I don't use it. Use it or lose it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't use it every day. So, like, Fable. I love Fable, right? I can't tell you the blind person. I think it's Teresa, maybe. But, like, I can't yeah, remember yeah, yeah. the blind person. Yeah, it's Teresa. Good job. Okay, well, there you go. But I can't actually remember the name for most of the, the characters and things like that. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm lucky I remember the city name right now. <laughs> like, and... I just remember the old butler in your ear, like, every three seconds. <laughs> like, your health is low. You better get your health right. Narrator guy. I yeah, he would just yell in your ear and was like, do something about your magic. And then you're like, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, I just, I don't know. I get really, I get really frustrated and then I get really down and disheartened because I'm like, now I don't, I don't want to talk to anybody about how excited I am that this game is coming out because they're going to be like, do you think so-and-so's in it? Do you think whatever? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, but for some people, this is all they got. Yeah. So, like, they live and die in Fable Land and so they're like, I've tattooed. And if you're just talking with me about that and I'm just like, I don't remember who that was or whatever, that's fine. Be cool about it. But it's the people that are like, oh, well, then you're not a fan. Fuck you. Obviously, you (laughs) ain't shit. Yeah, no, no, no. That's, That's a problem. I can't stand people that spend all their time trying to break down other fans just to kind of puff their chest. But even more so, it's the people that are convinced there is nothing. It's the competition without the competition. Yeah, like, like who's... I'm not trying to compete, bro. I'm just trying to... Bro, you win. 
You win, all right? You win. You're the greatest fan ever. I need you to soak that in. You probably have a trophy waiting for you or some shit. I'm and a, then you're going to... I'm a mom uh, and I'm tired, like, <laughs> trying to do all that. I switch cameras mid whatever we were talking about. It's it's messing me up now. Okay, we're good. Hey, there's a cat butt. Has this thing. <laughs> she's, eat, she, she's eating. She don't care. Do, um, do we get her from that angle? We don't get her no. from that angle. Okay. Not right there. Anyway. Um... No, she's just like like who the hell are you after here? Like, you did you go home after getting into a Facebook argument? You're like I proved to them that I know more about uh, Spider Man, so you know I don't like to brag, but I will. Okay, okay, now you know more. Hey, how about trying to teach? Now, guaranteed, there's going to be a number of people that don't want to hear teaching. So when you go and you're like, hey, did you know Spider Man? You're going to say it, and they're going to blow you off. That doesn't mean you spend the rest of your time blowing everybody else off or pissing everybody else off because you're like, I'm just going to prove that I know more shit and I'm going to leave. That's what I'm going to do. That's the plan because it's never a good plan. I don't know. It's just getting to the point where I'm too tired for all that. So, like, I'm not going to go hang out in your fan groups. Sorry, whatever. I'm just gonna enjoy it in private because I'm too tired to fight with you. Yeah, I'm too old now. I got Silent Hill coming. Yeah, I get kids. I don't need a fight. <laughs> Dude, I popped more. up on YouTube and I was like, I got a theory. How old is it? Uh, everybody in Silent Hill Two isn't real except James. Everyone lost their minds. Hey, you said you saw someone post that though in a, a group. Oh yeah, they posted somebody. A video. Somebody shared my video. I did appreciate. I do appreciate. That's that. exciting. Yeah, I'm supposed to look cool, baby. You can't That's look exciting. cool. Well, then I'm excited for you, oh, damn. Okay, she's excited. I am completely stone faced, too cool. Uh, it no, was really cool to have my shit shared on Facebook. Yeah. I got a number of people in there that absolutely tore it asunder. They were like, this this theory sucks. You suck. Everything about your life sucks, as you can see by these screenshots and these. I what was, was like, it? what was it? They're just like you're like. Said they were specific. They're like, you're somebody who obviously doesn't like. It's like no net, like no be neck beard guy. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Pardon the fuck out of me. They were like literally like name calling you and then like just acting like you don't do any Silent Hill stuff or whatever. They didn't even watch the video. Or yeah, anything. they were. I'm not watching this clickbait. You're you're clickbait. Everything about you is a lie. You're the scourge of this group. <laughs> you're a you're. It's just like you were like a no name dude that yeah. like hid in the basement kind of thing. And uh -huh. I'm like. Okay. I was like, yeah. That's yeah. go on some personal attacks for no reason. I do, I do. This is actually on set in the basement. My basement's just been renovated to look. Hey, like... your mom does live here. That's true. <laughs> you do live here. That's with true. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, no. I, I just, I can't, I can't get on board with convening. I used to be like that. Don't get me wrong. Any topic that was Marvel related or anything, if it's Spider Man, Frank Castle, or or Steve Rogers, I was like. Come talk to me. I know, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> but they, that was a thing that people felt like they could come talk to you and ask you about this. Yeah, thing. I wasn't a dick about it. Yeah, like we'd ask you all the time. We'd be like, "Hey, I saw the Punishers getting a new TV show. What do you yeah. think about that?" Because yeah, yeah. we knew you cared about it and you liked it, but you weren't like, "Oh, I'm sorry, you don't know." Who, what do you know about who the Frank Punisher? Castle? Is <laughs> then I'm sorry, you must leave this vicinity. You yeah. know what I mean? But it, I think I think we're all like that from time to time. We get passionate about what we like and everything like that, and that's that's cool. That's great. Mm -hmm. But Jesus Christ, when did it start becoming this thing where you were just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna shit on everybody that walks by. You know, that, you know when it became a thing. When uh, when it became something you could find at Hot Topic or Spencer's. Yeah. When it when, when it became mainstream and people could own things from it. They didn't like that. People didn't like that anymore. No, no, they liked it, but they when it, it became like wearing nikes to school or something like that like it's now the popular thing is this thing yeah but even with a popular well no no because i mean like you know sports teams you know people be like well the kansas city chiefs man this year and then some guy would be like actually the defense blah 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 and then they'll be just arguing back and forth about a team neither one of them likes this year because they suck or whatever but they're just arguing over who knows more about the stats on the game so it's it basically all the nerdy shit just joined everything else is what happened. Yeah, so, like, people are coming in there and be like, oh, you like Sailor Moon? Well, I like Dragon Ball Z, and that's far superior. You know, yeah. whatever. I don't know what university. I DVD's still do that when someone mentions Superman. I'm like, Superman, he is a lame ass. Why do you like him? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, have a hundred words to say about him, and everyone's like, well, I just like him. And then I go and shit on Superman. Oh, so then you're guilty of... Oh, yeah, ev <laughs> everyone's guilty of that stuff. However, I will say this, like... I don't think I am, but okay, I might be, I don't know. <laughs> you never. I think it's subconscious. Mm. I think there's just some things you're you're passionate about, and if someone else like kind of talks down on it, or or worse yet, they don't give it the due respect. All of a sudden, you act like you have to come in there and enforce it. 
And mm-hmm. I think a lot of people are doing that now. They they may make it seem like you have to go to school and college on it before you can talk shit. And I don't before, before you not even talk shit, just talk about just it. Just to talk about it, you're like I think Frank Castle, like, what do you know about Frank Castle and the Punisher? Nope, 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 nope. Did you spend eighty years Here's serving a it? Stack of books from the last twenty years I need you to read on him and no movies count because I make the rules and I don't think movies should count because they're too mainstream. Which is another subset of rules that everyone's been throwing at each other where they're just like, oh, you just like that game, movie, whatever because of this and this. You only like Dungeons and Dragons because of Stranger Things. So, the fuck what? Who cares? What's the problem with that? You you only like chocolate cake because you saw it in a shop once and ate it and now you like chocolate cake. <laughs> Correct. I saw <laughs> D&D and Stranger I Things. Saw, no, I saw Matilda and the chocolate cake and I saw a game like Super... <laughs> See? I mean, there you go. I haven't seen Matilda in a thousand years. No, wait. It was the the. It's a Matilda. The boy, the no. boy that ate it, not Matilda itself. Yeah. And so she. No, was I thought that's what you were talking about the movie. No, I was talking about the movie. I was just talking about. I said it gave her superpowers. I was like, wait, that's not mm. right. It was the boy that ate it, and okay. She already had the superpowers. Yeah. Well. So. <laughs> Sorry, bunny trio. We do that. It's fine. Shut up. Um, so yeah. So now now it's become. Matilda's a great movie. <laughs> I, I wish I could... You'd love that movie. You know what? You're the bigger fan than me. You win, all right? Because I don't remember anything about that movie. You, I know there was a... I the, bet if you watch it now, you'd be like, what the fuck is this? That No, that's every movie from the 90s. She was like a girl that just had power. She read books, a lot they, of books. They didn't even say why. There, was it a Roald Dahl book or movie or something? Was it basically a guy who wrote James and John Peach? Did, well, he, did he write Matilda? See, this is a fandom. This is fandom things. I don't Yo, know that shit. You're not a real fan if you haven't <laughs> read the book and ate the sandwich, all right? And only then you can be the number one fan, like myself. She got, like, powers. There was, like, an evil school lady, and her teacher was really nice, Miss Honey. Yeah, she had the big old church principal was dressed like a Nazi or whatever. She was the best character in that game. That show. They straight made her 11 feet tall and just gave her warts all over her face. I was like, yeah, and how do she, you know that's a bad she, guy, like, though? spun children around by their hair or something. Bro, <laughs> bro absolutely assaults the kids. And yeah. then so you got the possible yeah. felon so in the school. Matilda and, acted like the school was haunted and, and fucked with her all day. Yeah, she wanted to play like Jean Grey <laughs> the whole time. You're telling me that's not a great movie? <laughs> it's a fucked up movie. It's, it's so great. <laughs> tell me, tell yeah. me, what would you do if you were a kid and had superpowers? Would you not fuck with your teachers? <laughs> I'd be flying outside somewhere. I wouldn't even go to school again. I'd be socially inept and I wouldn't be able to breed at all. But you'd be, I'd you'd be, be flying, taken by though. the government immediately. I'd, oh yeah, no, I'd be the guy they shoot down, and I'm like, ow, I broke my leg, and they're like, we got you, kid, and they throw me in a box forever. Oh, hands down. You obviously didn't pay attention to Smallville, where they were like, you gotta keep this under wraps, bro. Yeah, because teen drama exudes secrecy. Like, they wouldn't go telling each other all this shit left and right. Smallville is such a flawed story, and the fact that it's all kids knowing shit. Once Uh, one Teens? Teens knowing shit. Once one teen knows some things, that's a wrap. And they're like, I won't tell a soul. Your secret is safe. Cal L from Krypton... Hey, Mom, look, there's an alien in... <laughs> that was, they were like that with um, what I remember seeing of Kyle XY. He was like That's some, a dude with no belly button, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was like some government experiment, and then they just like he just like showed up, and they just like sent him to school. <laughs> I just remember him saying, juice me. That's it. That's all. I just remember him having no belly button. I remember him finding out that he was a government experiment or something. And he looked like he had like crystal blue eyes, and he was cross-eyed. I thought he was cute. He looked like he was cross-eyed. I he, was cute. he had no belly button. You can't be liking that, baby. That's that's not right. It's it's unnatural. <laughs> it's not the Lord's way. <laughs> I wonder if you did that. If you like did like special effects, like mm-hmm. like prosthetics, and you made your belly button go away and just walked around like in like swimwear or something, you know, or like you're at the beach and you just walked around and people would notice. Yeah, they'd put like you down how, for being a demon. How many would notice? <laughs> Somebody would say some shit, but yo, there's a boy again with no belly button. Somebody, you, somebody make a prank video of this and send it to me. Does that mean he's it. a test tube baby? How does this work? And then they shoot you. Like, it's I want to do. I want to see this as a prank video. I want to see this. Cover your belly button prank? Yeah. No, because the government. I mean, will I need. Come. I need some guy with abs to do it. It can't be no, no, no belly button. And he like needs to I walk got. down the street yelling, "Juice me!" Like <laughs> it's that's all he needs to do. It's literally it. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? I don't know. I'm stuck on belly flex. <laughs> we're talking about gatekeeping and, and stuff. And you were talking about like people's attitudes and being passionate about stuff. 
Like, yeah. people are just passionate. and We get it. You're passionate. You really, really like some stuff. But the more you push back on people that they end up not wanting to like what you like, you think that's a good thing. Wait until no one likes what you like. So then, like... Then we'll be back in the 90s again. What's the, like, most accepting fandom right now? I don't know enough fandoms to... But the most accepting fandom that I've seen... I think it's cat people. Furries. Yeah, furries are pretty accepting. Because as soon as you say you're a furry, they're like, come on, buddy, get right in here. We'll do whatever furries do. I don't know what to do. But, you know, That's true, I've furry. seen they pretty much get en- enveloped in the fold just like that. You know what I just realized, though, and thought just occurred to me? I have a theory. Yep. It's another theory, but not a game theory. Um, people just want the 90s again. And they want the 90s so bad, they're trying to kick everyone out of the thing they love so that they're the only one that loves it, and they can be weirdos again. Is that what you want? Do you want to be weirdos again? You tell me right now. You go in the comments and be like, yeah, you got me. You got me, Riot. I'm looking for you to make me a weirdo. So I need you to go talk about Spider-Man so I can be like, well, I have Spider-Man tattooed on my neck, so you don't know shit. That's what it is. People want to be different again. They want to be so unique that no one else gets to like something. Well, I got news for you. Everything that you love is now pushed into everyone's face. It's it. That's really it. You know who really suffers in all these fan bases? Hmm. Collectors. Because if you liked something before, oh my there was God. maybe five items, mm-hmm. and then you were, you've were you completed your collection. <laughs> now, if you like something, it never ends. There's always something new for it. You scour the globe for items back in the 90s and early 2000s. Mm-hmm. You were like, hey, I found this, this rare Wolverine statue. Mm-hmm. Now you can go into a 7-Eleven, and that Wolverine statue is $7,000. Why? Mm-hmm. Because Deadpool and Wolverine are getting a movie. I tried to be a collector, and you know what? Like, I can't afford it. Was it was pointless. I can't afford it. I don't know why we did that. Well, I know why we did that. Because it was cool We did that because it was cool, and that's what you did in the 90s, and we were finally <sighs> getting to do what we did in the 90s, and you know what? We're broke as fuck for yeah. it. Yeah. It was, it was cool shit. No, don't get me wrong, but it's just... Uh, I love it got broken in moves, too. You know what, it's not you, meant for renter life. You know why I bought it? <laughs> to flex on people and be like, hey, I have a collection of this cool stuff you've never seen before. Why? There you go. Now I'm left to nothing more... Then my stash Side, right here. Ex? Yeah, and, and my side up collection, which I'll show you guys one day. Check it out on Patreon. It's it's cool. It's cool. Um, but I have my one little collection there, and then that's it. Like, there's no I, reason to I go. I start like I love looking at statues and things like that. But I'm a renter in an apartment. I'm moving every other year. I'm not trying to drag yeah. all that stuff, clean all that stuff. I'm not trying to have it break. Yeah, breaking. Oh, my heart's Re- broken. Remember when I broke your 72 inch? Mm. Not just the the TV, but like our statues broke a lot. I mean, yeah, that that is well. Moves, I'm that more hurt over sad. the TV, but that made me sad. I'm more heartbroken over the statues. That's why I won't buy statues anymore. I'm more heartbroken about it. But in general, like I think I think that is the people that suffer the most in the fandoms is the collector people because like if you used to like something, it was so hard to find, or there was only a little bit, and then no. you, you could have a you could have a complete collection. No. Or damn near close, where you're only missing like one statue or one thing or whatever. Facts. Now everything has a fandom, and they're always making new things. So like, you can't. And I noticed this with Disney princess stuff, right? Or um, Barbies, things like that. Like it used to be, um, like a goofy movie. Yeah. A goofy movie. There was very limited things on. You might have you a only random. You so much. You might have a random Max pin from the '90s. You know, oh. like. There's that, and then what? I think the anniversary for it came up, and mm-hmm. they were like, release all this line, and now there's fantasy pin makers, and now Loungefly made backpacks, and like t shirts are coming out now. You just got carried Hats. away. I'm like, bro, like I like Powerline, and I'm excited to see new Powerline stuff, but at the same time, as, as a specifically as a collector, I'm like, <sighs> you know what I mean? I'm not, I can't do it. I can't. I need y'all to relax. We only have so much of a fan base left, and the fandom can only survive for so long before you make it unbearable to be there. Uh, us Silent Hill fans that absolutely just knock Konami every time they breathe the word Silent Hill out of their mouth, and every other fan who's excited or not excited about Silent Hill. Jesus Christ, I need I need us well, all to... Like, think of... I'm sorry to interrupt, but good. think about, like, Fable, for example, <clears throat> right? Mm-hmm. Fable had some upgrades in my opinion that stayed relatively the same Mm -hmm. which i liked you know whatever but you know now they're releasing a new one it's got like new owners or something it's it's new and different and people are excited just to see a fable again Mm -hmm. very few people are like this doesn't feel like fable this isn't whatever like people are just excited to see fable again and that's so refreshing 
and something you don't normally see. And then you look over at, like, Dragon Age, and they're like, this doesn't even look like Dragon Age, which I, it looks fine to me, but okay. Just they, added some neon lights. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't care about the, like, way the new demons look or whatever, but, yeah. like, the play gameplay or whatever, I'm like, this feels kind of like Inquisition. You yeah. know what I mean? No, like, I agree with that. But, um, like, I, the, that, that, like, argument of, like, this doesn't look like this or this mm-hmm. doesn't look like this drives me nuts. Now, the people that are going... I'm not really a big fan of this combat style because my favorite combat style was where strategy was involved and it mattered more and now we're kind of butt mashing. Yeah. That's a legitimate argument. That's not beating down a fan base. No. You know what I mean? The people, though, that are like, this doesn't even look at this crap. Like, that's thanks for your, your insight and chill innovative out. input. You gotta <laughs> chill out, bro, because if this, if this got you, then the actual <laughs> game is gonna make you have an aneurysm on the floor and your family's gonna have to find you two days from now. Like, <laughs> geez, like, I can, I can have some concern about a trailer I see, don't get me wrong, but I've seen people where they're just like, this is the most woke, I still don't even understand enough what woke is, but they're like, this is the wokest shit that's ever woken inside the wokes. And, you know, the Republicans and Democrats, or I don't know. But anyway, they say shit like that, and I'm like, I don't I don't know what you're saying to me. <laughs> Somebody went in the comments and said that. They were like, yeah, it's woke, man, and you're woke. And I'm like, I don't know what you, what, what even are you, uh, what is that? <laughs> that's probably the thing that has aged you the most in all of this. It is, it is. That's how you know I'm old. But I thought the old people were the problem or something. I'm fine. (laughs) (laughs) You're totally fine. I'm I'm good. I don't know about y'all, but it's whatever. But, uh, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I think think fan bases in general, I'm just, I'm getting less and less inclined to be there. It's because you're toxic as fuck. (laughs) But that's the problem, too. Like, the more you chase out us old people and stuff, like... Then we get that separation where we're like, you boomers, you whatever, you know, like, that's going to be us now. We're going to be pushed out and we're, they're going to hate on us because we don't like their stuff. And we're like, but you wouldn't let us stay in your club. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, all the companies are like, we need to sell to the younger crowd anyway. Fuck these guys. And they just move on past us they while sell- we're, we're punching each other in the necks over and over. They just move on to our kids. And they sell like, to the younger crowd, yeah. but with our things. Yeah. They take our <laughs> shit nostalgia. over to the younger. Hey, your parents are fighting right now. They're idiots. <laughs> so I want you to play this this game or i want you to watch this show and the kid's like uh, okay i don't care and that's what ends up happening it truly is and people are so busy trying to tackle each other they don't even realize that it, it's it, everything's pointless you either buy it or don't buy it that's the only thing they respond to at this point and uh fighting each other gets you gets you a, a fat what goose egg yeah but I, you know, companies don't care about that because any publicity is good publicity. Yeah. So if you're fist care. fighting, they'll just record it and be like, "Yo, this new, this new Grand Theft Auto game brought on a street fight with 500 people," and then they're like, "Oh shit, Grand Theft Auto did? I'm gonna get that game now." Advertisement. So when they were just talking about where they were like, all these old games were coming out on everything except Xbox. Oh, uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really hyped about that, but they're bringing it out to everything but Xbox. They were like, fuck you, Microsoft. It's probably some contract <laughs> deal or something. So everyone's going back and forth. They're like, I knew it. And they're fight- all the gamers are fighting each other. No idea why. They have no idea why. They're just like, eh, cry more. Like, <laughs> what, are you- what are you even fighting for in that case? I don't... <laughs> it's stupid. Yeah. It- it's all stupid. This is why we own both consoles and not just one. Amen to that. <laughs> hey, shout out to everybody on my Patreon. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now. And if you have a minute, check out Patreon because that's where all the good stuff happens. Also, if you have time, you can also subscribe and then ultra subscribe or sign up or join or whatever the hell it's called on my YouTube channel. It allows you to pay $1 a month and then you can see secret videos. This video will be open for everyone to see, but every subsequent podcast episode before this will be locked away in a vault before this and after this this one will be free uh-huh. all of the ones in the past will not be all the ones in the future will not be ah okay there you go so this is the sample this is like a demo tape you know what i'm saying enjoy the demo in the mix deep yeah. in the back of your trunk there's a whole bunch of different <laughs> i just thought about that <laughs> pop the trunk all right uh anyway it's been a pleasure guys i appreciate you as always queen i appreciate you for being on the podcast with me and if you guys need anything from me whatever just write in the comments maybe i'll get to it or maybe i'll gatekeep you 
And call him woke. <laughs> Don't be so woke next time. I, I'm not using it right. I know I'm not using it right. I'm getting out of here. Bye. Bye.